The families of two victims of the Bemidji Middle School assistant principal convicted of sexually exploiting dozens of children are suing the Bemidji School District. The complaint asks for a judgment of no less than $75,000. Brandon Bjorkness, seen here in 2017, is currently serving 25 years in federal prison after pleading guilty to child sex exploitation charges in state and federal court. Bjorkness admitted to using multiple electronic devices to access fake social media accounts, often during school hours, where he pretended to be a middle school boy from Duluth. Bjorkness used personal information that he obtained by virtue of his assistant principal position to lure victims, learn their interests, gain their trust, capitalize on their vulnerabilities, and sexually exploit as many as 55 boys and girls. The victims' families who are suing allege, among other things, that the victims continued to suffer after being identified as victims of sex harassment and exploitation at the hands of other students, families, and faculty in the district. That the school district failed to effectuate its internet and device usage policy or otherwise monitor, as promised, its staff's inappropriate use of its internet and devices for illegal and harmful purposes. That the school district became aware or should have become aware of problems indicating that Bjorkness was an unfit employee with dangerous and exploitive propensities. Yet the school district failed to take any action to investigate or ultimately discharge Bjorkness. The entire complaint is 22 pages long. The victim's families are demanding a trial by jury. Bemidji School Superintendent Tim Lutz confirmed to Lakeland News tonight that the district has received notification of the lawsuit and that they are currently in consultation with their district legal counsel. Lutz was not working in the Bemidji School District at the time of Bjorkness's crime and cannot comment any further. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.